Welcome to Core Basics Coding Tutorial. In this episode, we are going to see what is GitHub and why is it so popular. GitHub is a website that allows you to store your code onto the cloud. Now, don't think of GitHub as just a cloud storage. It is a full-fledged version control system powered by Git. So without discussing it any further, let's look at the demo. Uh, so first we'll go to this website github.com here if you want to upload your code or if you want to contribute to someone else code you need to create your login so creating login is pretty straightforward you give your, your email id and password and you can sign up for github i'm already signed up that's why i will just use sign in button and log into my account okay so i have this account and I have this repository called py where I store all of my Python code. So you see like I have all these Python files and my readme file which is here and bunch of directories. And here what I have is all my commit history. So whatever code I have committed, all the versions and everything is stored. So if you want, want if I want to go back to any of the previous commit, I can easily go and check what happened during that commit. Okay. Uh, now I have the same code base synced up onto my local computer here in this directory. So this is pycharm python code editor. And as you can see here, I have same list of files and directories. So for example, I have debugging modules, multiprocessing. So it's basically all these files. I have them stored on this GitHub cloud storage. Cloud storage is basically something like Gmail. So Gmail, you can access it from anywhere because it is not stored locally on your device, computer, or it could be a cell phone. It is stored somewhere else so you can access it anytime similarly github is a cloud where my code is stored so if i want to log in from some other computer and make my code changes i can always do it okay now it is powered by a git uh, version control system if you already don't know what is version control system i would suggest that you go and watch my video on the version control system okay so now i will show you how to make code change and push it to a github repository repository is basically this particular area it's like a directory with all the files and subdirectory into it so that's what i call a repository or a repo repo is a short form so learn p is my login name and py is my repository okay so i have this particular code which is not functioning the way it should so I am making some code changes here okay and I made my code changes I run the program I make sure it works fine yes it is working fine so now I'm ready to push my changes to git now before I make these changes let me show you what taste.py has on github so on github as you see i added these two lines okay but in github it is still my old code okay so i just got that code i added these two lines to fix some issue and now i'm going to push my changes to github so i will say right click git commit directory whatever changes i have i just want to commit it so i will say fixed a bug in taste.py and I will say commit and push so what this will do is this will push my changes to upstream to here okay and now if I look at my commit log here you see fix a bug in taste.py whatever I committed 11 seconds ago it is visible here and if I click here on this commit ID it will show me the difference you see these two lines are highlighted I, it says that I added these two lines okay so now my code is pushed and if I look at taste.py file I have those two lines added here so this is a quick demo of how you push your changes to your github 
Okay, let me now cover some of the interesting features uh, of GitHub. The most important feature of GitHub is a pull request. What pull request does is it allows you to collaborate with other projects. In this diagram, there is this GitHub repo. Let's say this is some inventory management system, right? So this is the code for inventory management system. It has a bunch of files and it is stored on GitHub repo. That's why I have shown it in the cloud. And these people are kind of the owner of that repo. These are the people who write or who wrote that code. Okay. Now let's say this person X, he wants to make change in, into this code. For that, he will just simply fork the code. Fork means just simply copying the code to his own private space. So again, this is on the cloud, which is which means it is on GitHub, but it is a private repository, which means it is this person's private space. And he will sync up the code to his local computer. He will make changes. For example, in this function, this blue line is the chain that this guy made and he will push it to his own cloud. After that, once he's done making uh, his changes and he tasted his code and he's good to go, he will send a request to these people asking to pull his changes into the main repository. So he will say, okay, hey guys, I'm done with my change. Can you please pull my changes into your repository? And these people, using uh, code review, they will basically pull request generates a code review. So they will do a code review. And if it, it if it looks good to them, then they will accept the pull request. So that's how the code will get merged here. Now pull requests is uh, becoming a central theme in open source world. So in open source project, anyone can contribute to the open source code. So most of the open source projects are nowadays on GitHub and there are people who contribute to these projects using a pull request. Uh, that's why a GitHub, GitHub is becoming very popular because it has such a good support for collaboration and open source projects. Okay. There are some other uh, useful features of GitHub such as issues, issue tracking, you know, if you have a code base, it will allow you to track issues. Uh, Wiki, which means it will allow you to write documentation on your code. Pulse, which will give you different pulse and graphs, both will give you a different statistics. And I will quickly show all these four features to you. So I have this sample uh, code repository, which I found it through Google. And uh, this uh, repo, has this issue list. So if you click here, so he, here you see your main code and then here you will see all the issues. So people will report all these issues here. You can go to issue, you can have a screenshot attached, you can give a description, a reproduction condition and so on. Uh, and then there, there is a pull request feature, which I just talked about uh, by showing that diagram. Uh, then there is a wiki. So wiki is short of like a documentation. So for my code base, uh, for this HTML5 boilerplate code base, uh, the owner of this repository has put all this nice uh, documentation. So you can click through it. You can read through all the documentation. You can go to different website, etc. There is a pulse and graph feature which just shows you the pulse on your project. So basically ongoing activity on your project. So here on this project, I have some zero merge pull requests, one open pull request and so on and one issue. So it's short of like your dashboard. And then there are graphs which will show you different statistic graph like contributors. So these are the people who are contributing activity to this code repo there are commits so on this day there were nine commits so there was highest amount of activity on this particular day uh, there is code frequency network member and so on so it has all this nice useful feature but the most important thing about github is this whole website itself it's a nice GUI graphical user interface that allows you to see your code and uh, various dimensions of various uh, statistics on your code. 
okay so these were basically the four other features that that were um, that that are uh, important features for using github now there are uh, some interesting facts about github it is very popular nowadays uh, there are 14 million users with 35 million code repositories some of the uh, popular open source projects such as linux kernel has been posted on github so if you go to this link github.com torvalds slash linux you will see the code for linux there uh, i would say let's try this so let's go to github.com uh, torvalds linux and okay i'm having some internet issue but it's all right it got fixed okay so this is the code base for linux so you can actually see the linux kernel code base here and if you feel like you want to contribute to this project then you can click on this button and fork the repository and basically follow this diagram to make code changes and when you send back the pull request the owner of that repository will review your code changes and it will possibly be merged if things look okay so see it's so powerful there is a linux kernel and you can now contribute to linux kernel just because of github okay so that was all about github thank